All right, second video of the day. Um, I promised you I'd show you what I've been going on about for the past two weeks, and this is it. Da 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 da. This is the big boy. My lovely 3D printer. And it's on, it's quite loud, surprisingly enough. Uh, well, not really that surprising, hence why I've added some soundproofing around. I've got to add some more panels, but they're drying. Because surprisingly enough, they decided to send these uh, soundproof panels flat, like vacuum packed, and so they have to now um, expand, and soak it in water and letting them dry, and the t to how they're supposed to be, but I was kind of surprised because the first time I bought soundproof panels, they just came in a big box, unsealed and everything, so it's fine. But yeah, look at it, it's so big. And obviously the build platform's up there. Um, so I'll give you a quick rundown of how it works. Filament, plastic, feeds up into here, into a little motor. And then gets fed into this hot end here. This hot end spits it out onto the bed, one layer at a time, and each layer the bed goes down 400 cent uh, millimeters, so 40 centimeters. Do the math yourselves, you imperial measurement lovers. I don't know. Um, which is only three countries in the world America and two others, I can't remember, but they're tiny in comparison. Uh, everyone else, metric. Uh, so, yeah, I've... Uh... Oh, and here's the other fun thing. <laughs> Ta-da! It changes colour. Anyway. So, I've done a couple of test prints on it. They've come out really well. Cross my bit is a mess. So, this is a calibration cube. The X, Y, and Z on it. And that's just to make sure that um, everything's lined up all right, and it's a really good indicator of the print quality. Then, this is my calibration cube after uh, after a partner suggested I use this instead so that is a companion cube and it's far more interesting than just a uh, just a square cube um, I've got a few jobs lined up to print I don't actually know which one to do first that's the problem there's so many lovely things to make. Um, but yeah, it came out really well, which is really impressive, because usually when you get a 3D printer, um, it takes it takes a couple of prints uh, to get all the calibrations set up properly. You just get to make sure they are millimeter, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so forth, the steps to millimeters ratio, uh, get the bed leveling, get the temperature right and so forth and so forth but it's come out really well I'm quite happy with that so yeah um, <sighs> strangely enough I have accidentally switched over into day mode meaning I'm now awake during the day and I'm sleeping at night which is all well and good but I have got work Friday so I'm going to switch back over um, so it's now like, uh, what is it now? It's quarter to 11. I'm gonna upload this and then just go to bed. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you all tomorrow.